Hello dear friends, in this video I shall take up the method to find the square root of perfect or imperfect square numbers that is the long division method which has uh, a place in class 8th curriculum and uh, obviously this method uh, uh, finds wide applicability in competitions also and uh, you need to be well acquainted with this method in order to solve higher level problems of square roots. Obviously, I have given a lot of uh, methods and tricks through which you can find the square root, the square root of perfect numbers, perfect squares uh, easily through shortcuts, but long division method is something you cannot avoid. So let's learn this method from beginning. So I'm taking the first example that of a very simple number, suppose we need to find the square root of 1764. Now for finding the square root of 1764 by log division, this 1764 is to be written like this, just like the division and we need to make pairs of these numbers digits from the right hand side. So 64 is one pair and 17 is one pair. Now let's see the first pair here, 17. We need one number here which when multiplied by itself will give you a number just less than 17. So 4 into 4 is 16 but 5 into 5 will get you to 25 which is above 17. So we have to get the number below 17. So 4 into 4 is 16. So this is the first step. Our answer will start with 4. And now subtract here 17 minus 16. This will give you 1. And on the left hand side, the number which you have written, the same number is to be added to the number above and this will give you 8. After this first step, see 8 is greater than 1. So we need to bring down the second pair here. So 64 comes down and now I need a number at the units place here. So this will become a two digit number and suppose I choose 1 then 81 will be multiplied by 1 to get a number less than 164 or to reach just near to 164. See 81 into 1 will give you 81 which is far less than 164. What about 82 into 2? See this number has to be same. So 82 into 2 is 164 which is exactly the same. So let's choose 2 here. So 2 will come in the answer also and 82 into 2 will give you 164 which when subtracted gives you 0 and the process terminates here. Therefore square root of 1764 comes out to be 42. Now in the first attempt this method uh, looks a little bit difficult but when you solve 5 or 6 problems of this kind then method will be a little bit easier. So let's have one more question. Suppose you need to find out the square root of 4096. Now square root of 4096 again write 4096 like this and make pairs from the right hand side, 96 is first pair, 40 is the second pair. Now we need a number here which when multiplied by itself gives you a number just less than 40. So see 2 into 2 is 4 which is very less than 40, 3 into 3 is 9, 4 into 4 16, 5 into 5 25, 6 into 6 36 but 7 into 7 gives you 49 which is more than 40. So which is the number which is less? It is 6 into 6. So 6 into 6 is 36 and now subtract here 40 minus 36 gives you 4 and whichever number you have chosen you have to add the number here. So 6 plus 6 gives you 12. Now see 12 is more than 4. So next pair 96 comes down like this and now you have to choose a number here. It becomes a 3 digit number. So suppose I choose 1 then I have to multiply by 1. So this gives you 121 which is very much less than 496. So choose higher number 2. This gives you 244 which is again less. Choose more greater number into 3, 3 into 3, 9. So again less. So choose 4. 
So for four to the sixteen, four to the eight plus one nine and four. See four ninety six. So we have to choose four here, and four will come in the answer also. So one twenty four into four will give you exactly four ninety six. And if you subtract this, the process terminates here because we get a zero. Therefore, square root of four zero nine six is sixty four. So these are two examples of this. Let's take some higher numbers now, larger numbers. This is a four-digit number. I have taken. Now I'll take one or two five-digit numbers. So let's see the third example. See the third example. I am taking number one one six six four. So square root of one one six six four. So let's write one one six six four like that in the long division sign. And let's make pair from the right hand side. So sixty four forms a pair. Sixteen forms a pair. One is left out. Now whatever number is left out as a single digit, you have to consider only that number first. So see one. One means one into one is one. So subtract here. One minus one gives you zero. And add the same number here, just like here. See one plus one is two. Now two is more than zero. So bring the next pair down. Sixteen is the next pair. So sixteen comes here. And now you see, if I select after two, if I select even one. Then twenty one into one will give me twenty one, which is greater than sixteen. So what we need to do here is we have to bring one more pair from here. But to bring one more pair, we have to put a zero here, just like we do in division. So put a zero. That zero will come here also, and this will enable us to bring sixty four down like this. And now we have to choose a number here. So twenty will become a three-digit number, and we have to multiply it by the same digit to get to one six six four. Now see the unit digit here is four, so either it has to be two. Now if I put two here, two zero two into two is four zero four, which is very much less than one six six four. So I need to move ahead two zero eight into eight because eight into eight is sixty four. Eight to the sixteen. So see same number is coming. So just have eight here. And two zero eight into eight will give you one six six four, which cancel out on subtraction to give you the answer double one double six four square root is one zero eight. So another important question for long division. So let's have a practice question for this one, so that we can understand this method in a better way. So I'll have a five-digit number, another five-digit number. So this is four seven zero eight nine. So this question number four. Four seven zero eight nine. So I'll write that in the division sign like this. Now let's make pairs from the right hand side. Eighty nine forms a pair, seventy forms a pair, and four remains uh, single. So now see two into two is four. So we get to four like this. Subtract here, you get zero, and add this number here, you get four. Now bring seventy down. Now see, forty-one into one is forty-one, but forty-two into two will be more than seventy. So forty-one into one means one comes here. Forty-one into one is forty-one. Now subtract here, you get twenty-nine, and add here. You have to add here always. So forty-one plus one is forty-two. And now forty-two is more than twenty-nine. So bring eighty-nine down, and now you need to make it a Three-digit number. So four two, and by just using logic, we know that this is four hundred something, and it has to be bought to two thousand nine hundred something. So it should be four twenty seven into seven. So we can test it. Uh, test this now. Seven seven forty nine, fourteen eighteen, two nine eight nine. See same number. So seven comes here. Seven comes in the answer, giving you two nine eight nine as the product. And if you take the difference, this will come to zero. Therefore, square root of four seven zero eight nine will come out to be two hundred and seventeen. Now, this is the answer here. One hundred and eight was the answer. So let's have one more question. Then 
we will move to higher questions of decimals in the next video. This is question number five. I'll have one question of six digits also, so that you are well acquainted with this method. So we have five eight six seven five six. Five eight six seven five six. So let's make pairs from the right hand side first. So fifty six. 67 and 58. Now we need to have a number whose product with itself gives you a number just less than 58. So 7 7s are 49 because 8 8 the 64 is more than 58. So subtract here, you get 9. Add here, you get 14. Now 14 is more than 9, so you have to bring the next pair down 67. And now I need to convert this into a three digit number. So 140, so by just by observation, 146 into 6, 6 is the 36, 24, 27, so 876. But 147 into 7, this will give you more than 9 because 14 into 7 is 98, so 980. So this is the correct thing. So we'll have 6 here, 6 here, 6 here. And now 146 into 6 is 876. So you need to subtract here and add here. So just subtract. This is 1. This is 9. So 91. And now add here 152. So final step. 152 is more than 91. So bring the next pair down 56. And now we need to have a number which converts this into a 4 digit number 152. And by observation see. 15, 6 are 90. So I will have 6 here. So 6, 6 are 36. 12, 15. 31, 9. See, 9, 1, 5, 6. So 6 is the number which has to be chosen here and in the answer, which will give you 9, 1, 5, 6 here, leading to a difference of 0. And thereby terminating the process to get the square root of 5, 8, 6, 7, 5, 6 as 766. So students, a very very important video for all class 7th, 8th above students who are just beginning to learn long division. Practice this method. We shall take up higher examples in our subsequent videos and if you do like this video, do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel.